refund him quick. Yeah, the tires are uh, silk, man. Super silk. They're happy on the highway. Yeah, silky smooth. The balance is perfect. Feedback is great. Very precise. It's so much easier, even at speed, to change direction. Hope I'm not yelling. I know the microphone's close to my mouth, but it's loud in my ears right now. Yeah, it's like being on rails. The bike absolutely goes where you want it to go with very little feedback. It's definitely more confidence inspiring. I was on the highway maybe a week ago and at speed it felt heavy and it was very reluctant to change uh, course. Even just minute adjustments in the lane. I like it a ton now. Let's head to Palm for it. Squirrel! That was close. You know, one of the things I was thinking about with the stiffness of these tires is a soft, flexible sidewall creates more heat. <clears throat> because it actually flexes and vibrates as you're driving. I wonder if part of making these last longer is the stiffer sidewall. Maybe it doesn't give as much. And sometimes that give at high speeds and turns gives you a little bit of better traction. But also heat softens rubber and allows it to shred and come off the wheel faster. I wonder if making these super stiff, super thick, unforgiving sidewall is what gives them their longer mileage. Don't know. My bridge should be coming up soon. There it is. The bridge to Pomfret. Pomfret Road. No whammies. No whammies? feel like I'm working as hard to stick the bike. A little gravel here. And I'd have to probably go to 10 tenths to really know where its limits are or what its weaknesses are. But right now it just feels like in a straight line, in a turn, the tire feels the same predictable. It doesn't change characteristics. It doesn't become something different. Well,
that's a good way to describe it. It's the same tire. In turn, as in the straight line. Oh, I felt that dig in when I transferred my weight forward. Oh. <laughs> I hit that little rubber tar thing. Those are a little slippery. I don't think I lost anything. I think the handling characteristics of this tire have given up nothing from the 016, at least for my riding style. Pretty nice. I was afraid I would move to a tire that was so foreign, so slippery, but these are far from slippery. I feel very confident playing on these. Big turn, no whammies. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a whole lot of confidence inspiring in these wheels. Good tires. There's my church, not my church, but it's a beautiful building. So really the big trick next is to see how long they last. I mean, I do a lot of commuting. I, it's really back and forth to work is most of my riding. Every once in a while I get an escape and I go on a, a little tour to see what I can see for a couple hours. Then I get to do something like this once in a while. Big turn. Oh, that felt good. That was a rock. Oh, it just digs in. Out of the turn, it just gave back. Oh, that's a pleasurable feeling. I mean, it felt alive coming out of that turn. I haven't felt that before, not with those other tires. I always felt like they were right at the moment of just giving out. I don't feel that with these. They're like, no, I'm on top of this. You do what you're doing, I'll take care of this. <laughs> oh, I like them a ton. And I'm very grateful. I don't know anything about track riding, but this is definitely a good uh, street tire. And if the mileage proves out, then it'll prove it is definitely an awesome street tire. But if I only get 5,000 miles out of them, then I will know Then it's basically another track tire. Hello? <laughs> oh, that was nice. Got real light at the top of the hill. Nice blind turn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I 
I'm sold. I would put these above the 016s, the Battle Axe 016s. I had the front wheel wash out on me twice on that thing with the 016s. Didn't wash out like where I fell. I just mean it gave. I didn't, never knew why. But that always made me feel really tentative. I'm always going to be careful, but these make me feel like they're uh, more on top of it. They're better high speed, they're more stable, more precise. And they are lovely in the turns. It's like the Isle of Man, I just went past a stone wall. Oh, not quite. Maybe if I was going 150, 160. No, thank you. Oh, that was nice. Yep. Hello, truck. Oh, yeah. That back wheel, it is a strong plant off acceleration coming out of a turn. Strong plant. It is not folding up on you. I like that way better than gooey soft. Yeah, I feel like I've regained a ton of handling. And, and even improved over uh, where it was. Even when it was new. Yeah, that was good. That's the Pomfret racetrack. There's a Suicide 6 ski area in the background. Yes. That doesn't even feel like the same bike, kids. You know, ride quality suffers when tires get old. And those things were only a few microns of rubber left on them, so it's going to feel very different, no doubt. Well, hey, I give it a, just like the Canon air filter, big two thumbs up. Wait, I gotta do it. I gotta do the big two thumbs up. Need to lean back and do it. Two thumbs up. Yeah. Super nice. Is it new? Did you just get it? Very nice. What's that? It's super cool, man. Gotcha video. <laughs>